tea is probably one of the most popular drinks in the world besides water. It allows us time to reflect, to um, relax and revive us. We're outside Tea Sutra. It's a place in Newcastle upon Tyne that serves hundreds of different varieties of teas. So let's go in and have a look. A few years ago, I walked into, in the, in the old town of Barcelona, I walked into a place called Catch Chai. Uh, and just something about the aroma of the tea, the taste of the tea, the sort of atmosphere it generated, I just fell in love with it. And, have looked at various tea houses since and ended up uh, with Yoshi opening this one. You've got hundreds of teas here. Where do the teas come from? Uh, we get them from a whole uh, range of importers, but uh, everywhere from China and Japan, uh, India, Northern India, Southern India, Africa, and then various uh, infusions from South America, Africa, uh, and so on, so all around the world. Is there an art to making tea? Very much so. It's very important just uh, how you kind of capture uh, the taste. Uh, finding the right sort of strength of tea before it goes over to becoming stewed. So you have to pay attention to the temperature of the water, the length of time, the amount of tea, the kind of pot you use has an effect because that alters the temperature. Uh, so yes, it's a very delicate fine art to make a tea. How many teas have you drunk? Uh, I would say it's probably probably in the hundreds. We've got over a hundred here and I always try them when we get them so that's a hundred and then elsewhere I've you know, tried, tried others so probably well, well over a hundred. There is more than just one of the teas that we know which is black tea. You can get yellow, green, red, black, white, oolong, post-fermented and herbal teas. There's quite a variety there. I'm particularly keen on looking at the herbal teas because I use them in my practice for medicinal purposes. So let's have a look at the variety of teas. You can get dried herb teas um, and you can get fresh herb teas and we'll be going through those in a little while. But mostly trying to get people off black tea because it's highly caffeinated and it has tannins and often drinking too much of it. Your options can be going on to something like green tea, which is quite nice, and any of the herbal teas. I prefer herbal teas to fruit teas, but it's worth having a go and seeing what you particularly like. So you can get the dried variety and dried herb teas um, uh, are available and you can get them loose leaf as well which I actually prefer because then I can um, take the quantity I want and make it up to the strength I want. You can get tea bags, either bleach tea bags or some of them are actually material tea bags now because um, people want to not opt using bleach tea bags and some of the um, tea bags are now being oxygenated rather than bleached and also you've got fresh fresh leaves as well and I would highly recommend um, growing your own herbs in the garden which is great fun and making fresh mint tea is just delightful it's one of my favorite because you can just smell the aromas of the mint and in fact in one of these leaves we're told that um, one leaf can contain over 700 chemicals in it. So for medicinally, it's fabulous because as a herbalist, I want people to get the benefit from the plant. And it's fabulous just taking some fresh mint and tearing the leaves and just popping it into a mug and pouring in your hot water. It's as simple as that. And you can take any um, herb plant, you can take the leaf and you can take the stalk as well and then just add your hot water so you can do it with mint, fennel, lemon balm, sage, you can use any of those um, common herbs that we use for cooking. So one of the teas that I recommend quite often to patients is 
peppermint and chamomile because it's a really lovely one to have when your digestive system feels a bit sluggish or bloated after a, after a meal. So you can take your fresh mint or you can get a mint tea bag, which is this is. And chamomile, I've got some dried loose chamomile here. And just take, uh, you can take a teaspoonful, that's fine. I'm just going to put that amount in. And then all you do is add the hot water. And put the lid on and that's your tea brewing for five or 10 minutes, as strong as you like it.